Yo, what's up everyone, Kevin here. In this video, I just wanna share with you guys how I prepare my snowboard gear for the off season. So how I prepare my snowboard, boots and bindings. And by doing this, I think it's gonna help your snowboard gear last longer and perform better as well. So I start off by taking my snowboard bindings off of my board. I find it much easier just to work on everything with the bindings off and it's easier to store. And for my snowboard bindings, it's a good idea to actually do up the straps to help them keep their shape. If you leave your snowboard binding straps open, they can lose their shape and you can actually create some weak spots in the strap. So it's a really good idea to do those up. I also like to do up my snowboard boots uh, for the same reason, to help them keep their shape over the off season. If you leave your boots undone, they can definitely like lose some of their shape. So do them up and also make sure they're dry as well. Next, I like to clean the top of my board, just give it a quick wipe, but I also like to clean the base of my board. So I'll use a brush to brush the base, and by brushing the base, you're gonna take out a lot of the old wax and even some dirt that your board can pick up uh, from the resort or from the mountain. So brushing the base uh, is a great way to clean it and just takes away any old wax and dirt. Along with brushing, I like to give the edges a rub with a gummy stone. And by rubbing the edges, um, you're gonna take away any small little metal burrs and just any imperfections in the edge. So a gummy stone is a great, great way to do that. Next, for minor scratches in the base, I like to use some P-Tex and a metal scraper. Um, and by using P-Tex, it's a great way just to fill in those minor scratches. Uh, P-Tex can be a little bit tricky to work with at first, but if you get some practice with it, it's a really easy way to maintain, maintain the base of your board and it can save you some money too. So, so fill in any scratches that are fairly shallow, then scrape off any remaining P-Tex. If you have any really deep scratches, it's a good idea to bring those into a professional because P-Tex won't always stay in if the scratch is too deep and if it goes down to the core. Finally, I like to put some wax on the board and actually leave it on for the off season. And by waxing your board, it's going to help to protect it against all the changing weather that it might see over seven or eight months in storage. And by waxing your board, it's just gonna keep the base protected. And then when you take your board out for opening day next season, the only thing you have to do is scrape off that remaining wax. So this is everything I do to prepare my snowboard gear for the off season. If I missed anything, it'd be great to hear from you guys in the comments. I'll also put links to all my gear and to some of the tools that I use in the description if you guys want to check those out. Thank you for watching, have fun with their snowboarding, and I'll see you in the next video soon.